My name is Megan, and I'm so excited to see you guys here today. I have a question for you guys. When I say, who can you thank for everything, I want you to say, I can thank God for everything. Will you guys help me out with that? Yeah? Okay, come on. Stand up on your feet. Come on, let's get all the wiggles out. Come on, let's stretch it out. All right, you guys ready for this question? Here we go. Who can you thank for everything? That's right, I can thank God for everything. Amazing job, friends. Okay, now stand standing because we gotta give thanks to our God. Our God is amazing. Our God, there is no one like our God. He's the king of all kings, and he deserves all of our praise and all the glory and all the honor. Come on, let's, let's sing it out to him right now. I'm our Savior. There is no one like our God, which reminds me of our memory verse for the month. Are you guys ready to learn our memory verse for the month? Yeah, let me see some, see some thumbs up. Yeah, perfect. Okay, here's our memory verse. It goes like this. It goes, always give thanks to our God. Ephesians 5.20. Amazing job, amazing job. But this time, I'm going to need you guys to help. Will you guys help me? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Come on. Stand up on your feet. Let's do this thing. You ready? Always give thanks to our God, Ephesians 5.20. Amazing job, friends. All right, I need you guys to get real low, get real close. We're about to learn about Ruth and Boaz and how we can thank God for our families. You see, God loves us so, so much. Let's check out this Bible story. Who, who know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning to I'm Jayla, and I was just writing a thank you note. And there are a lot of things I can say thank you for. So, what if we have a parade? A parade of thanks! This is so exciting! 
But a parade is a lot of work. There's so many things to do. Oh, I know. I can ask my mom to make some parade snacks. And I can ask my sister to help with the decorations. My cousins can help with blowing up all the balloons. And I know my Uncle T can help with building the floats. He's such a great builder. I have a lot of people that can help. This parade is gonna be so fun. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Planning a parade, are you? Oh, hi, Ollie. Yes, it's a super big job, but I have a family that can help. Family can be great. It's true. I know a family that helped each other, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman. There is so much to be thankful for today. Look at this postcard I got from my nephew. He just learned how to write my name. I just love my family, which is what today's story is all about. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Naomi. Look at Naomi's face. Does she look happy or sad? Sad, that's right. Naomi was sad because her husband and sons had died and she was all alone. So Naomi decided to go back to the town where she grew up. But look, this is Ruth. Ruth was married to Naomi's son. Ruth said, I'm your family, Naomi. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Wow, that's awesome. God gave Naomi family to help her. Thank you, God. Can you say that with me? Thank you, God. Naomi was so happy that she and Ruth were family and that she had someone to walk with her. When they got to the town where Naomi used to live, Ruth and Naomi took care of each other. They needed food because they were hungry, so Ruth went to go look for food to eat. Not far from where they lived, a man named Boaz had people working in the fields, gathering all the grain. The fields were like big gardens. As the workers picked the grain, they would leave some food for people who needed food. Ruth saw the grain and began to gather it up to take it home for her and Naomi to eat. Boaz saw her collecting food. When he found out that Naomi was a part of his family, Boaz decided to take care of Ruth and Naomi and make sure that they had plenty of food to eat. Wow! God sent more family to help. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. When Ruth went home to Naomi with good food to eat, Naomi was so thankful. Thank you, God. Say it with me. Thank you, God. God gives us people to call family. All families can take care of each other. Thank you, God, for giving us family. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can you thank for everything? I can thank God for everything. That's the truth, friends. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Naomi's family helped her, and we can be thankful for our families too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Ruth helped Naomi, and then Boaz helped them both. They were thankful to God for their families. And we can be thankful for our families, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? 
If you did, say got it. Got it? Got it! Good. I'm so thankful to God for my family. I'm gonna find them right now and start parade planning. See you next time. Bye! What an amazing Bible story. I love learning that we can thank God for our families. See, we can thank God for our grandmothers, our mom, our dad, our uncles, our aunts, our cousins, our little brother, our little sister. We can thank God for our families. There is no one like our God. Why don't we pray together? Dear Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you for my family. God, thank you for my grandmother. Thank you for my uncles and my aunts. God, thank you for my little cousins and my big cousins. God, thank you for my big brother and my big sister, and my little brother and my little sister. Thank you for my mom and my dad. God, you created each and every one of us, and God, you love each and every one of us. God, there is no one like you. God, you died on the cross for my sins. You knew the mistakes that I would make, and you, yet you still love me. And God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for waking me up this morning. Thank you for the birds and the trees. Thank you for seeing me. Thank you for loving me. Because, God, there is no one like you. It's in your mind that we pray. Amen. All right, friends. I'll see you guys next week. See you later. Bye.